Mexico's attorney general has announced the arrest of four gang members thought to have colluded with local police and the disappearance of 43 students a month ago. The case of the disappeared students in Mexico has turned worldwide focus on institutional corruption and the role of popular protest in the country. Here's our correspondent Clayton Khan. It has been a month since the 43 Ayutzinapa students were forcibly disappeared by police and now teachers and professors express their solidarity with the families and classmates of the missing youth. We are missing those 43 disappeared. We cannot continue without them in our classrooms because the reason there are teachers is the students. Expressions of widespread discontent and protest have consumed the country as citizens decry that the Ayotzinapa case is the tip of the iceberg of institutional corruption. The population doesn't see the state doing its job and thus has the right to energetically denounce those who should be doing things differently. There needs to be a change, and that is a primary demand of the people. Meanwhile, Ayotzinapa students who survived the attack say that it is precisely this dissent and criticism of institutions that provokes state aggression. We are agitators, rebels, and crazy warriors who understand how our country is that it's rotten and to speak the truth puts one at risk, deadly risk. However, the teeth of popular revolt has bitten back, forcing the ouster of the Guerrero state governor and a sharp watchful eye over the pending job of his successor. Clayton Khan, Telesur, Mexico City. And thanks to Clayton.